This is a demonstration of the SmartR test suite on the Mac 635G. The SmartR test suite includes Pair Detective and Fault Mapper. By selecting the Copper Tests icon on the home menu of the Mac 635G, either by tapping the screen or using the keypad, you will have access into the Copper Test Suite. From here, you will be able to access the Pair Detective and Fault Mapper. As you can see at the very top of the screen, the two first icons are Pair Detective and Fault Mapper. By selecting Pair Detective, the aim of Pair Detective is to be able to run through a suite of different measurements. There's a couple messages that appear just to highlight to the user that a high voltage will be applied to the line. As you see, as the test progresses, we're going to measure voltage, current, capacitive balance, and each one of these are graded against what is the measurement value, and based on threshold settings, whether they pass or fail the user-defined threshold settings. As we progress, we will see AC balance, a corrosion and wet detection test, which is very unique to the Max 635G, and finally, into the isolation or insulation resistance tests, whereby we are looking for faults to ground, resistive faults to ground, and we do our measurements up to one giga ohm. The test doesn't necessarily conclude there. Finally, after the, the last isolation resistance test is performed, it will then move in to run a TDR test. Now this is the summary screen, as I mentioned but you could push the multimeter tab to see what are the different parameters that have been measured. And as I said, finally, with the TDR test, you will be able to see the progress of the TDR test. Because many of this information is grayed out, it mean that, means that the test is still in progress. Once it disappears or once it becomes visible, you will then be able to see what is the outcome of the TDR test. In this particular case, we can see that we have a bridge tap and the end of the cable. If I back out of this particular test, I can now select the fault mapper test. The fault mapper test also includes the TDR capability, but it's looking for many other faults. If you look at the test status, you will see information such as looking for opens, looking for load coils, looking for shorts, and other messages like that. Upon the completion of the fault mapper test, you will be able to see a clear wiring diagram of the test result. So there's no need for a technician to be perhaps confused by what a TDR looks like or be confused on how to interpret an RFL. We try to simplify the messaging around the fault mapper application. So you can clearly see here, when the fault mapper has completed, it's identified that yes, you have a bridge tap on the line. This bridge tap is approximately 300 meters away from the unit. Now I should note here, the Max 635G can be configured to display distances in feet as well, depending on your particular region. Going back to the bridge tap, you can see that the bridge tap length is approximately 17 meters. Of course, you also have the capability of rerunning the TDR. So if we run the TDR, you will see a similar information. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you will have to wait for the test to complete with respect to the auto TDR to be able to manipulate the data. But once the auto TDR is done, you'll be able to clearly see where the bridge tap is and where the end of the cable is. What's also very exciting about the fault mapper as well as the TDR is the landscape mode. So for users that would like to see more information being presented, pushing the landscape mode will allow you to see much more information on the screen. Pushing the portrait button will exit back out to the portrait screen. That concludes the demonstration of the SmartR test suite on the Max 635G. Thank you.